Imagine a keyboard that breaks all the norms and redefines what you thought was possible. That's exactly what Newfie Studios, a powerhouse in keyboard innovation, has done with their latest creation. Join me as I dive into the world of cutting edge tech with the Newfie Gem 80, a keyboard that's not just a peripheral, but a game changer. Stay tuned to discover why they're calling it an uncustomary custom keyboard. Let's have a look at what you get in the box. Newfie have spared no expenses when it comes to their unboxing. The kit comes in a minimally branded grey box with a sleeve cover containing some basic details of what's inside. I like how simple the box is. Getting it open, we're presented with a Gem 80 kind of envelope. Inside, you get the installation guide manual, a quick guide manual, and a Q&A manual. Next, there's a foam layer protecting the board itself. The kit is wrapped in a large microfiber cloth, which is always a great touch in my opinion. Moving on, you get a toolbox containing lots of accessories. The inclusion of a screwdriver speaks volumes to Newfie's attention to detail. You also get a standard keycap and switch puller, as well as a 2.4 GHz dongle. In the first section, you get several bags of accessories, including some top mount screws, silicone socks, and foot pads. In the second section, you get a couple of gasket options, including silicone beans or strips. You also get a second box that includes a premium braided coiled USB-C cable. Pulling back the microfiber cloth, I've got the Obsidian Black team. Nufi provide you with one of each of their switch options in case you'd like to purchase another set. Nufi also sent me out another package which contains some more plate options. Polycarbonate, palm, and aluminium as the Gem 80 ships with an FOR4 plate by default. Okay, I'm going to quickly list out some of the main features of the board before diving deeper into my thoughts on the build. The Gem 80 is a TKL layout with 88 keys. It's got an aluminium top case and a polycarbonate bottom case. It comes equipped with a 4000 mAh battery. You also get QMK via support. Okay, so the Gem 80 comes in at various different price points depending on your configuration, but the main price points are $149.95 for the bare bones wired only option. It steps up to $169.95 for the tri-mode connectivity. From there, you can add another $15 each if you want to choose from Nufi's very own switches and keycaps, with the top spec version coming in at $199.95, which is what I have here. Although the Gem 80 is offered in 5 vibrant colours, its absence in the classic white or silver tones might deter some potential buyers who prefer more traditional aesthetics. Featuring a precision cut CNC aluminium top plate, this keyboard boasts a satisfying weight that adds to its premium feel. Its sleek design and solid build quality make it a standout choice for those seeking a high-end keyboard. While the Gem 80 doesn't come with height adjustable feet, its built-in 6 degree typing angle combined with its ergonomic keycap set provided a comfortable typing experience without any issues at the default angle. In the tri-mode connectivity version, the operating system and connectivity toggles are tucked away nicely. The 2.4GHz dongle comes in the toolkit therefore doesn't fit into the body of the keyboard anywhere, so you'll have to keep it safe so you don't lose it. The USB-C port is located in the middle of the keyboard which won't be for everyone. It it means the coil cable sits further to the right as opposed to the middle when the port is positioned to the left. Speaking of, let's swap out my own coil cable for Nufi's included one. The cable feels excellent so I can definitely see this being a nice cable upgrade for most buyers. The keyboard offers universal compatibility with both Mac and Windows systems, complete with dedicated keycaps tailored to each platform. Oftentimes Mac users are left with the short end of the stick when it comes to custom keyboard compatibility but Nufi has Mac users in mind. Let's talk about some of the finer details. There's a small gem nameplate badge above the arrow keys. Nufi consistently emphasized the Gem 80's resemblance to a meticulously cut, faceted and polished gemstone, maintaining a cohesive message throughout their branding efforts. The Gem 80 has a sidelight above the escape key with various functions from indicating the battery range of the board to indicating caps lock and even what connectivity mode you're in. Nufi have incorporated LED homing bars to aid the users in easily getting back to that ideal typing finger position. Nufi shipped their very own high profile keycap profile with the Gem 80, dubbed the MSA profile. It takes the well-known SA profile and makes some tweaks for improved ergonomics as well as a larger round surface with more of a symmetric design as seen in their low-profile NSA keycaps. These keycaps are double shot PBT with a nice thickness, so pretty much as good as it gets in terms of keycap material and the legend printing process. The homing bars that I mentioned previously are made possible through an innovative triple shot injection process. Nufi's innovative nature can be seen yet again with their ghost bar feature. The space bar is made up of more parts than you typically see. It's got a stabilizer noise reduction chamber on either end of the space bar, as well as a silicone sound absorber with the polycarbonate connector. This is all in an attempt to dampen that notoriously loud space bar sound. I think it works really well. Let's compare Nufi's ghost bar with a random space bar I had lying around. The 
The Gem 80 is perfectly capable of being used for gaming with its 1000 Hz polling rate, in other words, a 1 millisecond response time. In the try mode version of the board, both the 2.4 GHz and wireless connectivity modes both have that 1 millisecond response time, which is, well, unheard of. You also get Enki rollover or anti ghosting, so as said, perfect for gaming. Let's give this keyboard another justification to be used for gaming. The Gem 80 is QMK via compatible. For those that are unaware, this is an open source keyboard customization software, so you can do all the key mappings and macros you'd like without the reliance on a dedicated software. While this is super useful for gaming, it's also a productivity must. The switches in my unit are the mint linears, which require a mere 37 grams of operating force. They've got a palm stem and a polycarbonate bottom housing with a 21mm spring and come factory lubed. Newfie brand them as the switch for typists, and I can see why with their light actuation. The battery is respectable being 4000 milliamps. Newfie rate the Gem 80 for 330 hours of use with all the lighting options switched off. With just the homing light bars, you can expect somewhere in the range of 34 to 70 hours and with all of the lights on, somewhere between 24 and 45 hours. The keyboard offers a plethora of RGB backlighting options, to be more precise, over 40. You can effortlessly toggle through these modes using the function and arrow keys. Newfie's intention with the backlighting was to strike a balance, subtle enough to avoid distraction, yet noticeable enough to enhance the overall aesthetic. You'll notice there's an F13 key in this board, and in my opinion, Newfie missed a trick here by not including a multimedia knob instead. All right, it's time to dive into the inner workings of this keyboard and explore what lies beneath the surface. To get inside the board, you have to remove 10 screws from the back using the T8 screwdriver. Once those are removed, you can flip it around and the top plate should slip right off. The top plate has a beautiful CNC aluminium finish treated with zircon sands. Underneath that, we've got the plate, which by default is FR4. It's got plate mounted stabilizers, which I thought performed excellently, so didn't think I needed to modify. The plate has plenty of flex cuts to promote that even typing experience. One of the most interesting features of this board is the Omni mounting solution. The plate allows for three different gasket mounting solutions, silicone socket, silicone beam, or silicone strip, as well as a stiffer top mounting solution. Under the plate, we've got the first of many layers of sound dampening with a layer of plate foam, followed by a switch pad, followed by a PET pad. With all of that removed, we're down to the PCB. Be careful not to pull as there are three cables holding the PCB to the case, which need to be unplugged. The PCB is five pin hot swappable with south facing sockets. The PCB also has several flex cuts. On many other keyboards, that would conclude the tear down, but the Gem 80 isn't quite finished there. Beneath the PCB, you also get another two layers of PCB foam, as well as a thick bottom housing silicon layer. So yeah, between all of the layers of sound dampening, all of the mounting options, and all of the plate options, you'll be sure to find the combination that works for you. All right, it's time for the sound tests. Just a heads up, this segment took a lot of effort to put together. I've tested all the combinations of mounting options and plates to ensure that you have the most informed decision possible. If you appreciate the dedication behind it, a like would mean a lot to me. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing because there's plenty more keyboard content coming your way. I'll be wrapping up with my final thoughts and suggestions shortly, but for now, let's dive into the sound test and really get a feel for what this keyboard has to offer.
So yeah, it's not surprising the Gem 80 made it out the other side of Nufi's intense research and development phase. In my opinion, this keyboard is the perfect choice for a pristine typing experience that excels in the gaming realm. Its build quality and aesthetic make it a compelling choice for anyone in the market for a new keyboard with a bit of budget to play with. That concludes my review of Nufi's Gem 80. If you found this video enjoyable or informative, don't forget to show your support. Thanks to Nufi for sending these parts out for review and thank you for making it to the end.